Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where today we're doing things a little bit differently. We are gonna be looking through all of our barns, hopefully getting some animals a little bit healthier. We've cleared out a lot of the animals in our barns. We're working on some of that breeding and we're working on shifting things out of the water wheel and into the processing centers where they need to be. So we're gonna take a look at some of that. Of course, we're also gonna run through and check on the ibex and the boars because that's gonna be vitally important to us at some point here. Coming up, do I have anything to ditch into here? I mean, I do have some hardwood, but I wanna hold on to it, honestly. Um, we can ditch a little bit of fodder though, so that works. Let's go ahead and grab out our glorious garlic. Uh, and apparently turn on caps lock. I am using uh, my alternate keyboard today. My standard keyboard has been uh, posing some problems for me. So we're looking at possibly getting that guy replaced. Uh, Bluetooth is uh, still not the most stable of connections. You know, it, it's been working, but it's given up the go and now it's having an issue where it just wants to press S constantly. Um, and so this is actually <laughs> our second round through um, as far as dealing with this recording. So this is attempt number two um, and hopefully this time with less issues because this time we're just actually using uh, my computer's default keyboard setting instead which helps a lot. Uh, so welcome this is this is my laptop his name for engineering purposes is Caltron um, an OC from a story I wrote when I was a teenager. Long, long, long stories on me writing as a teenager, and we're not going to get into that. But um, Keltron is a ROG machine, so he's pretty darn powerful. Uh, the keyboard's a little on the basic side, but Keltron himself is, is quite, quite powerful. So, not too bad there. So yes, I do record um, on a laptop, but it's a very, very strong laptop. It is a competitive level ROG gaming machine. Um, so that does help a little bit with just the strain and stress put on by some games. Um, the hard drive where some of the recording data is saved, that, that might be a different story. Um, but the power behind the machine itself is quite handy to have. I can play just about anything. I can play Ark, the stupid dinosaur game with graphics designed to kill most computers. I can play that without any problem. So it is nice to be able to make that claim. I do appreciate Caltron for that. Um, you know what? We're gonna grab out some milk today because we're gonna stick some milk in the house. I think that will be useful for us. Actually, it's also a Monday. What am I doing? I have a flute to be playing. Let's play the flute for everybody in here. That way we can make progress towards our breeding goals. River's almost there. Which is awesome. I love that River is almost there for me. Um, now I do have more than one male chicken. That's my Gen 2. So the other one... Oh no, I did get rid of him. Okay. Got rid of the Gen 1. That's important. Did I have any wools or anything or any milks in here? No. That's okay. We'll run up over here. No, 
Okay, and we have quite a few animals in here that we want to attend to. Um, as well as all of our ostriches here. All of that milk. Uh, no room for any of that wool. That's okay. Looks like we may have some cassava ready. Um, and that's fine. We're gonna grab out a bit more juice just because it's here. We're gonna inspect this as we run past. So actually that cassava is not ready. Okay, nothing in there is ready. That's actually a good thing. We'll run on in here. We'll throw in some milk to make some cheese and the rest of the milk into here. And the poop can go in here as well. We'll grab out the cheese that's up here. Uh, Lily wanted us to say hi, so does Shadow. Then we will run down to the juicing shed, the shipping bin, and we'll inspect the forest right quick. So some things that can just go in there. Pickles as well. Excellent. Let's inspect everything down here. Nothing to harvest. That's actually pretty great. We'll throw in all of our juice and all of our ferment. We will need to get some more hardwood going and some more fodder going for more ferment, but that's okay. First thing is first, um, milk, peppers, wool, and I don't have any carrots to make more buns, so that could be a bit of a problem. Um, taking a look, does he like anything other than buns? I mean, sunflowers, sure. I mean, we can at least get talking to him. Um, it would be nice to find some carrots, but if we can't find carrots, we can't find carrots. So, I mean, really. Let's run up here into the community tent. Oh, yes, and hardwood for Jag. So, we'll deal with Jag here. It's nice how everyone gathers on a day like this, and we can dance with Jag now, whose dance is fantastic. That is something, all right. Okay. Pepper for Era. And Era is now done. My dad is so much like Great Aunt Teddy. I'm not sure whose stories are wilder. Okay. So we're all good there. Hey, are you want a pepper? Uh, no. I wish Ivan would let me teach her my musical techniques. But she seems to be doing fine on her own. That's fair. Maybe you should leave her to it. Now this is exactly my style. I love glooming weather. It's so cozy. And we still can't dance with him yet. But we can dance with Jalrod. That'll help make up for the... Uh, gifting incident. As long as we don't give him fermented fish. We should be fine. And then I guess we need to go and check in on Mana. Okay. Some milk for you. This means a lot to me. I know rain is good and all, but it makes the day so boring. That's fair. I believe we also could get another pendant going, but I'm not sure at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and give a chili to Nari. Rain is nice, I guess. It's just not my favorite. Let's dance with Nari as well. Okay. 
And we'll grab out some corn. For Jin. Sometimes it's best just to relax with the clan. Here's the silver gentle touch bangle. Okay. So everything involving people is pretty much done for the day. I want to double check real quick in my storage bin and see if we perhaps have more gemstones that we could do stuff with. And the answer to that is a firm and resounding uh, no. <laughs> so that's fine. Let's go ahead and check on animals. And we may need to do more mining, honestly. As much as I hate to admit it, that may be where we're at. So. It's okay, honestly. It's, it's still better than fishing, let's be real. Um, nothing new and exciting in the Ibex herd, that's okay. We only have one more Ibex to find now, and it's the Legendary. And we didn't find it last season, so hopefully we will find it this season. And that's... that's a different one. Yep. Okay. That looks special. messed up. It's okay. It should still only take two days. Okay. What are you anyway? The fiber bore. Okay. We found a fiber bore, you guys. Our first special bore. Very exciting. So next episode, we should be able to tame that one up. And then we should be able to go to the savannah. We're going to check our ostriches out. We're going to check on our guanaco. Um, hopefully we'll start filling the barns with guanaco. And once we have six varieties, it's just tame and untame as fast as possible. So that we can get those guys dealt with too. Speaking of which, where exactly am I headed? Uh, I'm gonna head down the river and back up, honestly, because that's the order we did it in. And I would much rather, if there's like a rare ostrich, I'd rather deal with that. Not that I think multiples are really gonna be something we're dealing with, but you know what? Just in case, I think it's best if we head this direction. Okay, nothing new and special here, just the ones that we released, and that's fine. So we're going to head back across the river and up this cliff. Here we've got some. Okay, um, we've clearly partially befriended this one. Okay, that was perfect. Was it enough? It's not enough. Okay. So what are we looking for here? Guanacos. Orange, there's none. Rocky, there's none. Dirt, ash, and mustard. Pretty much everything except these two. Okay. This is one that we've started on. And we've started on this mustardy one too. Okay.
That should be enough. It's not? Darn it. Okay. Well, we've started on this one pretty well. Okay. Perfect. So that gives me a third variant. Uh, hold on. Can I just stick it in the bottom barn? That's where I want it to be anyway. That ostrich honestly needs to move. Okay. So that's that. Let's see. I'm out of whistle today. But we should be able to start working on another color variant tomorrow, as well as collect the dirt and possibly the orange starting tomorrow, which will be really good. Um, we're going to move that ostrich baby up north after we play the flute for it um, and check out its stats, of course. That's vitally important to us. I did not expect it to spawn down here, but that's okay, I guess. I want it up north, though, where it will be of more use to us. So first off, yes, maximum speed. Now we're just working on quality and production, which is fine. Let's play the flute for this little one. And then I'm sorry, little Guanaco. You're not going to have a friend for very long here because this little one Yeah, we're gonna put it up here That works Okay So that's pretty good and I My Ibex is missing did I put my eye back? Yep. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Um, we don't have anything to do here. I would actually... Shocker, I know. Um, like to grab out some more juice. Because I think that it's just a mess to have it all up in here. So we're gonna grab this out and we're gonna take it down below. We're honestly probably not going to do much with all of that oil. Unless oil can become butter, but I don't think that it can. And, um, yeah, we might be at that point, guys, where I ask for a few minutes while we deal with all of this stuff. Because there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. Um, yeah, we're gonna start off this batch. So I'll be right back in just a minute. All right, and we are back. Uh, we've sold, we're gonna sell all of the wine that we just collected, uh, but we're gonna hold on to the beer because the wine is of fairly low quality, but the beer is decent enough. Um, and we're gonna do some last minute hunting for some gemstones. I'm gonna go with, let's go to choose your totem. And we're just gonna plow through, choose your totem, and also uh, the Glyptodon den and porch. And hope that we can find some gold and silver up in here. I mean, 10 is definitely not what we want, but hey, it's something, you know? And a bunch of stone. Great. Also, not really what I was hoping for. Okay. We're gonna go up to the porch. We don't have a ton of time, but we're gonna keep on keeping on. 
and pretend that it's fine. Uh, yes. Thank you. Ah, a piece of gold. Fantastic. And some silver. Okay. So, we have some tin that can just go. Um, we have some copper that can just go. And we're just gonna keep on keeping on. That's gonna be a piece of sardius. So... I really don't want to ditch all that fish. That's a fairly decent fish to be ditching. But I do want to actually pass on the stone. I don't need all that stone. So that should help us out a bit. And more tin, of course. That appears to be copper and jasper. For jasper... Mm. Okay, at that point we'll get rid of the fish. For jasper, it's worth it. More sardius, more silver, definitely worth it. And then let's check out Bear's room and just see. I don't think we're going to find anything in here, which will be most unfortunate for us when we don't find anything. Well, or I'm wrong. That's silver. That's gold. These are definitely things that we want to be running into. Oh my god, look at all the gold. Oh my god, so much gold. Yes, please. And then some agate. I apologize for that noise. Um, you know what, we'll eat the empanadas, that's fine. I know it's like 135, but you know what, we need the stamina anyway. I apologize for the racket. Uh, there is a fly that apparently is obsessed with my hair right now. So, less than highly approved. And we pass out in the middle of the caves. However, that is going to bring us up to 829,000 clan prosperity to which we contributed a very comfortable 10,462 today. Go ahead and give that a save. That will bring us up to 132,000. And the next day, we will have nothing important to do. Um, however, it says, a day like any other, full of adventures and new things to discover. And new things to discover we will. We are going to collect a fiber boar. Very exciting. Our first rare boar species, um, which is going to be absolutely fantastic for us. However, that is going to have to wait for with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of the episode. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And don't forget to dance.